Today we'll be playing three rounds of lightning Q&A. There are five questions per round and each question is worth 25 points. The person who buzzes in first and answers right gets the points. But if no one buzzes in after 10 seconds, time's up and I will be randomly selecting one of you to answer. This Q&A round is called Ode to Code. I'll say a couplet, which we'll also put up on the screen. You complete the couplet with the appropriate rhyming word. Let's do one round to practice. It's so readable, and I'm not sure why, Thon, but beginners and pros alike all love Craig. Python. Python. <laughs> Python rhymes with Lython. Your hint for this round is programming languages. The answers to each of the five questions will have something to do with that hint. This hint is not very creative. The answer is a programming language. All right, let's start for real. A diamond in the rough. I used it as a newbie. I will call gem install because I love Lizzie. Ruby. That is correct. Next question. Music to my app as though played by a harp. It isn't B flat. No, it is called Craig. C sharp. That is correct. Efficient as iron leaves the rest in the dust. Get performance and safety because you're using Liz. Rest. Correct. It came from the sun, which is hotter than lava. Get out your coffee. We're writing in Craig. Java. <laughs> Make a phone ring, send SMS at a Wimmel. It's the best language. It's Twilio's. Lizzie. Wimmel. Correct. Okay, at the end of the first Q&A, we have Lizzie and Craig tied for first place with 50 points, and Liz just behind with 25. Very appreciative that you keep saying just behind, even though I'm significantly behind. <laughs> well, you have to understand that the the number, <laughs> the increment here is 25. So really, you're only behind by one point, but we have simply multiplied it by 25. <laughs> All right. But you will have, Liz, you will have a chance to catch up and eat, maybe even pull ahead in this next round where we will play another Q&A, this one called Code Words. In Code Words, we will give you a list of words which we will also show on the screen. I will read a clue, and you've got to pick which code word goes with the clue. So in this case, somebody might buzz in um, and say, Liz, what do you what do you say? Christine and Owl. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> so say there can you? actually only be one answer, but in this case, it was, it was me. I'm the one who's a hoot at parties. <laughs> um, more realistically, the answer to this would be Owl, but you know. <laughs> I, I, I wrote the questions, so I wanted to, to indicate to everyone that they should invite me to more parties. Are you ready to play? Woo! Let's play Code Woo! Words. Your hint for Code Words this time is symbolism. These are your Code Words, and we will be starting the clues now. Guns N' Roses guitarist, buzz in when you got it. Liz. Slash. That is correct. Slash is the guitarist for Guns N' Roses. <laughs> All right. Trending on Instagram. Lizzie. Hashtag. That is correct. Hashtag is the way you trend on Instagram. Hashtag bubble sort. All right. Next question. March Madness betting chart. Liz. Brackets. Brackets are correct. Nice. Brackets are what nice. you use to bet in March Madness if you are somebody who is not me. All right, next question. Called out on Twitter. Lizzie. Where to at me at. <laughs> Correct, people will tag you on Twitter using at. All right, last one, symbol of the Batman villain, the Riddler, Craig. Question mark. Correct, the Riddler has question marks all over his suit and everything else that he has. That is some branding for you. All right, so we have Lizzie in the lead with 100 points and Craig and Liz very close behind at 75. This is anyone's game still. We are about to play one of my favorite games as our final Q&A round, and it is today's penultimate mini game. Contestants, are you ready for Sounds yes. Like? All right, so for our third count round of Q&A, we will show you a phrase that sounds like the name of a company and then a very brief summary of what the actual company does. You get 10 seconds on this one to buzz in and guess the name of the company. So here's an example for you of how this works, since it could be a little hard to explain. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom, you see an actual thing that the company does. And on the top is a sounds like phrase for the company name. Uh, go ahead and buzz in if you got it. Craig. That would be Twilio, really, though. <laughs> Twilio, communications APIs for SMS, voice, video, and more. That is correct. I would have been very disappointed if none of you had gotten that one. 
All right, get that high. All in one platform for automating modern web projects. Craig. I believe that's Netlify. That is correct. Netlify is an all in one platform for automating your modern web projects. All right, next question. Hey, trouble to less. Cloud computing services. Liz. AWS. AWS, that is correct. <laughs> all right. BS load. Code editing, refined. Liz. VS Code. <laughs> Correct. Pop Rocks, cloud storage for backup, sync, and file share. Liz. Dropbox. Dropbox is correct. High Crow Loft Measure, flexible cloud computing platform. Liz. Microsoft Azure. Yes, Microsoft Azure is correct. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of this game, we have Liz in the lead with 175 points with Craig and Lizzie tied for second at 100 points. Our final game is a hard mode game, which means it's like a more difficult version of a game we've played before. Today we're playing Sounds Like on hard mode. That means that everybody will be given a sentence that sounds like, but isn't quite a familiar phrase. Uh, here's an example. Shed their bum, a ship blew up. Rev, their son did pet new town. <laughs> an example clue for this. Never gonna give oh. you up. Never gonna let you down. Oh no, Liz is really good at this game. Liz, you're insanely <laughs> good at this. You are so good at this. Wow. So, for example, so you always get a clue. The clue for this one is vintage memes. Um, so, of course, a classic vintage meme is the Rick Roll. Um, you will have three minutes to guess with other contestants in chat helping you out. So the first person to get it will get 100 points. The second person to figure it out will have 75 if they get their clue. And then the third person will have 50. So we'll show you your clues and then we'll start a timer. Again, there will be three minutes for you to guess and the chat can help you out. Ready? Let's do it. Craig, your clue is pass plates and fed your hay to all. Sure, demote furious. Liz, your clue is Gilda Mermaid Snap, fifth shy one. Will you go when they're stable? And Lizzie, yours is nose correction when we oh no middle bro with hens are okay mess. <laughs> the hint is you wrote it. Where is the chat when we need them? <laughs> yeah, come through Hi. chat. Twilio. I think it's Twilio. Yeah. <laughs> okay, read the whole thing, Liz. Build a survey app with Python, Twilio, and Airtable. And you oh, are nice. just under the time limit with the correct answer, <laughs> getting you 100 points. Now, uh, Brent, do you want to show the answers to all of these? Craig's is Classmates, an uh, educational video for the code curious. <laughs> demote furious. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> and Lizzie's was post detection in Twilio video with TensorFlow.js. Oh, the uh, Are you ready to see your final scores? Let's take a look. We have Liz, <laughs> our winner, with 275 points. Lizzie in second with 100 points, tied with Craig with 100 points. Liz, that means you are our winner today. Thank you. It's an honor. I was very good at that Instagram filter that went around where you had to, like, if you know what I'm talking about, where it, like, has the things that sound like something else. So I, all that was training for this moment, really. Everyone here and in the chat, thank you for joining us for Bubble Sort. Wherever you are, have an excellent day. Go to twitch.tv slash Twilio and click to get notified about the next episode of Bubble Sort. If you want to be a contestant, sign up to compete on Bubble Sort by going to twill.io slash game show.